O economista Robert Mundell recebeu o Prêmio Nobel em 1999 por suas pesquisas sobre políticas fiscais e cambiais. Ele é um dos críticos mais ferozes dos altos impostos do governo Obama e participou do Exame Fórum em 11 de maio. A seguir, você confere os principais trechos da palestra de Mundell. Ranieri was the bond trader who turned home loans into securities, the father of securitized mortgages. Mortgages are math, he said, and that's what made this uh, thing. I won't go into this in too much detail. Alan Greenspan doesn't need any introduction. He kept interest rates too low, the dollar too weak for too long, let the, let the housing bubble develop, uh, supported subprime lending, He advocated variable rate mortgages, which I think was a big, terrible mistake. Hank Greenberg, founder of AIG, the biggest insurance company in the world, a big hero in China, all the things he did, conducted vast business and credit default swaps, and uh, similar, et cetera, et cetera. Mass multiples of derivatives. Then Bernanke allowed the dollar to soar as the euro fell from dollar sixty to below a dollar twenty-five. Failure to act brought on the recession, the last half of 2008, and the financial crisis with uh, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Lehman, AAD, Goldman Sachs, etc. And then Paulson, Hank Paulson, he bailed out Bear Stearns but allowed Lehman Brothers to fail. Lehman's demise was the biggest failure in world history. Previously, Enron in 2002 had been the biggest. But the Lehman failure was six times bigger than Enron. The Lehman crash caused a surge in the demand for dollars and banks in their scramble for liquidity. They stopped lending. Money became even tighter. Credit became unavailable except for super solvent firms who didn't need it. Credit for ordinary enterprises dried up. <clears throat> Now, Lehman was too big to fail, but the Fed and Treasury let it fail. It was a mind-boggling mistake. Optimism about the U.S. economy and growth has to be modest. Government sector is expanding. Most likely, U.S. recovery will not be strong and sustained. Housing is slowly recovering, but will not be the spark plug for strong growth. Automobile markets are not enough for strong growth amid rival firms, and investment is required for strong growth in the U.S. US economy. But the investment outlook is poor. The problem is the deficiency of profits, and you don't get investment unless you get expectations of profits. Major problem because of expectations of Obama tax increases. Strong recovery would require slashing corporate taxes to rebuild capital positions. If you got, if you got a reduction uh, in the corporate tax rate from 35% to 15% or even to 20%, the stock market would soar. The Dow Jones average would go up 3,000 points instantly overnight. The Obama administration is going in the wrong direction with taxes, the biggest flaw in the recovery program.